Chauncey Hurlbut was a notable figure in Detroit's history. Since this monument was constructed in 1894, it has been stolen from, vandalized, and even struck by lightning. This is the story of the Hurlbut Memorial Gate. Detroit City Water Commissioner Chauncey Hurlbut would pass away on September 9th of 1885. After his passing, he would leave his estate to the city in order to beautify the park that he helped found. Almost immediately, the city would commission the Hurlbut Memorial Gate to be constructed. The gate would be officially opened in the year 1894 and it would serve as the entrance to the park. A stone eagle once perched itself on top of the monument. Water would flow through stone shells on the sides of the gate, filling up troughs for horses. The extravagant gate cost $30,000 to construct, which is equivalent to $766,000 today. During both world wars, the park would be closed to the public over national security concerns. Detroit's water treatment plant is located inside the park, so there were fears that the city's water supply may be poisoned. On August 15th of 1945, the park would reopen. However, it would not stay open forever. In January of 1951, on the onset of the Korean War, it would close once again, this time permanently. The denizens of Detroit were not happy with this move. They began protesting and demanding that the park reopen. In the year 1957, they got their wish, well, partially. Seven acres of the park along the riverfront would reopen. In 1961, six more acres would reopen to the public. The large lagoon that used to sit inside the 110-acre park was filled in in the 1960s. Thirteen acres would remain open to the public for a short time. Eventually, those two would be completely closed off. Since the park is no longer receiving any visitors, the memorial gate has fallen into disrepair and neglect, even being stolen from. The bronze bust of Chauncey Hurlbut that used to sit on a pedestal right at the front of the gate was stolen some time ago. In December of 2000, the beautifully designed wrought iron gates that used to sit right at the entrance of the memorial gate were stolen. In 2007, $800,000 of renovations were done on the gate in an attempt to preserve what was left. On August 18th of 2019, the eagle that was perched atop the gate was struck by lightning and destroyed. The Hurlbut Memorial Gate is a beautiful work of art meant to commemorate a man that had a notable part of Detroit's history. This gate and the park that once enveloped it had an important impact on many citizens of Detroit, and it will never be forgotten. It's about time I go to bed Cause if I stay up late now I'll get depressed I say that like it hasn't happened For the most stuff today Hope it all just goes away